he says. It's a sodding. And hang all you lot that follow this sorry bastard into obscurity. Same mind, mate. But I won't begrudge you the state of yours. You still looking for that sage fellow? Aye. Taking a prize a month back, I heard a man named Roberts was working a slave ship called the Princess. What do you want to see about the Princess? She is that. Oh, don't sit there like a barrel of wet fish. We're celebrating my retirement! <laughs> Uncork this man's breakfast! Save us a few bottles, eh? So welcome back, guys, to Assassin's Creed 4, and, uh... Let me say that I know it's been like three days since I last uh, made a video, but uh, no, that's because uh, the game, uh, you know, advised me to upgrade my ship. Something that I had hadn't done, uh, you know, too much. You know, my ship was uh, like a beginner ship. Oh, he almost saw me. Uh, like I was saying, it was almost like a beginner ship. So. I had to do the most tedious process of upgrading my ship and basically that means that I had to destroy th like hundreds of ships, you know. I have to follow this guy right now. Okay, I got a eavesdrop. Okay. Tell me about him. What sort of man is he? It's Thatch, sir. At least that's what he calls himself. But he's a mad bugger, he is. Cracked as a glass teapot, sir. Details now. Stop talking in gibberish. Well, sir, he likes his drinks, for instance. Only he makes them queer. He takes the usual rum flip and fills it with half a weight of gunpowder to top it off. Did I hear you all right? He drinks gunpowder? Aye, sir. Just for show. It only lasts Holy shit. He rounded up a score of his crew and bade us sit in the old of his ship while he burnt off sulfur and other sickening minerals. We just sat there like it was one of a million pits of hell and nothing less ordinary. Good God. What the hell for? Like to test his crew is all. Tease out their fitness and what. Of course, it always turned out he was the fittest of the lot. Thought for a moment I died there. Have no fear, soldier. This will be the end of it. Come on, it's time. Quickly, send the signal. Remember always to stay. What the devil? Well, this was part of the demo. At least the one that I saw. Holy shit. I gotta get to the high ground. I need to reach the jackdaw. Which is right there. So I'm not gonna have too much of a problem here. Okay, come on. Incapacitate the man of war. Oh, so that's why they wanted me to upload 
to upgrade, I'm sorry, uh, my ship. But don't worry, I'm gonna ram this some bitch right now. Holy shit, I'm powerful now. Well, I've come a long way since I started the game with my little jackdaw. Okay, come on. Side cannons. Come on, let's kick his ass. Well, it's gonna be over soon. Man, I'm powerful. One more. Well, almost at it. Okay, it's done. It's done, ladies and gentlemen. No. Now I gotta board it. And this, you know, multiply this like a hundred times. And uh, that's what I had to do to upgrade my ship, which was very, very, very tedious. Plus, I had to get a lot of money, you know. And uh, that, that's one of the things that I didn't like. You know, it's cool that I have to do all this stuff, that I have to upgrade my ship, because it encourages you to try the naval battles and all that stuff. But they really, really exaggerate it with the amount of ships that I had to to board, you know. It, w it it became kind of kind of boring, you know, honestly. But aside from that, this game has been amazing. So when I do my review, uh and it's coming, believe me, I'm definitely going to take that into consideration. Something I really didn't like. So that being said, let's start kicking some ass. Whoa. Okay. Gotta destroy that gun. Oh, come on. Gotta destroy that gunpowder. Bam. Whoa. Come on. Aw, oh, die already. This is a clusterfuck right here. Where is the captain? Oh, there he is, or not? I thought he, that was it. Oh, there he is. I think here he is, dead. Get out of the way, bam. Okay, nine more guys to kill. Eight, seven. Oh. All these guys attack at once. Okay, 16. Got four more to go. Air assassination. Or not. Okay, come on. Oh. Oh. I forgot to tell you. I received a message from Ubisoft in the, in this, in the game. And, uh, wait a minute. Holy shit. That has to be one of the most shocking moments I've ever seen in Assassin's Creed, really. Man, I can't believe that. That was intense. Holy shit. Okay, gotta escape the zone. Man, that music's not helping. You know, th this moment is right up there with Ezio's, you know, brothers and father getting killed or, or Connor's mother uh, dying. Whoops, spoiler alert. But uh, what the hell, those games are old, you should have played it. 
Man. What a fat sir. Did he fall? Captain? He drinks damnation. On a side note, like I was saying, I received a message from Ubisoft telling me that I got Connors, Ezio's, and Altair's outfits. And I'll be using them, you know. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna use one of them right now. And, uh... Okay, let's go. Just for one mission, at least. I'm gonna change my outfit. Take this time. And I also wanna thank all of you that have been watching my videos. Uh, helping me getting started. Uh, I hope you enjoy them and uh, I would really appreciate like I've said before if you would share the videos you know to help me out. Here they are. Altair. Wow this one looks really you know classy. Ezio's. Uh, I, I like it not too much but I like it. And Connors. Now this for me is the coolest. This one's the one with more class. This one doesn't really fit uh, Edward, but uh, I think I'll go with Connors. For the sake of family tradition. Even though Connor is a lot younger than Edward. Okay, let's go. Man, th Connors was my favorite outfit of them all. Look at this. Looks amazing. I love it. I, lo I love the blue and white combination. Okay, let's go to the next mission. And where is it? Where is it? Come on. Here it is. Okay, I'm going to go over here to Pino's Isle. Let's go and get this mission started, ladies and gentlemen. The shoes are ugly, though. Oh, come on. All the way over there? There's not even a boat here. Just get me to my ship. Oh, man. Something I love about this game are the high number of side activities. The hunting, like I've said before. The hunting, the collectibles. Pretty pretty cool collectibles, you know, not just those, those, you know, like, uh, collectibles that are, you know, like, in Grand Theft Auto, and this is not, you know, I'm not ripping, uh, or, you know, talking bad about uh, Grand Theft Auto because I love those games, but, you know, it's not like Grand Theft Auto collectibles that are just like, you know, okay, collect 100 and you'll get a prize. You know, this one has kind of a little bit of a story to it, I assume. With the the Templar uh, outfit, you get, need to get the keys. You need to do those side missions with the with the Templar assassination contracts. And I'm about to die right now. Okay, I escaped. Or at least I think so. Oh, no, let's go. There's the ship. Yeah, I escaped. I love the, the Mayan Stelais, I think they're called. Collectibles. I love them. You have to do a little puzzle. It's not just like, you know, the Animus Fragments you just have to find. Although I hope they, you know, tie into something of a story. Let's go. 